He was a credge. That jerk spelled backwards, you credge. What's your problem, Tara? What have I ever done to you? <laughs> That's it! I've had it! Michael! Michael? He won't leave me alone. What? She's the one. She's always doing this to me. He's lying. Michael, what are you doing with that? I want that cleaned up and you too. I got you good. Almost as good as at your party. Josh the football. <laughs> awesome. Uh, thanks, Mona. I don't have this one. Of course not. You said it was lame and he threw it out. But now he'll probably like it now that he's in love. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, can you give me a hand with the cake? Mom, I don't want Tara at my party. She's ruining it. Well, your friends seem to find her very entertaining. Yeah, but it's my party. Michael, take this inside. I'll go get some candles and you can make a wish. I already did make a wish, but Tara the Terrible is still here. I want to go I've been wanting this for a long, long time. A clock. An ugly clock. Ah, a magical clock. Magical? That's what Anthony at the antique store said. Hey, Dad, what are these numbers for? They tell the years. Hey, cool. Don't touch it. How can a clock be magical? Well, the legend is that a strange old man built the clock over a hundred years ago, and he put a magical spell on it. But they say whoever discovers the magic must beware. Whoa! Oh! Seems to work fine. Anthony said there was something wrong with the clock, but he wouldn't tell me what it was. Yeah, it's all right. Stop that. Uh, 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 uh. Now, listen. I don't want either of you to put a finger on this clock, all right? Yes, Daddy. 
Tara. Yes, Daddy. I thought I told you not to touch this. If I find that there's anything broken on this clock, you're in serious trouble. Yes. Explaining this one, Tara. <laughs> Dad, how's the clock? What's going on? My birthday was three days ago. I get to go to your party. All right, real funny joke. Michael, will you tell me what you want for breakfast? Because your friends are going to be here soon, and I still have to pick up the cake. All right, guys, the joke's over. What joke? Gosh, Henry, I wonder if it's a CD. No, Josh, it's a football. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Mona. I, I, I don't have this one. Of course not. You said it was lame, and he threw it out. But now he'll probably like it, now that he's in love. <laughs> this is all too weird. Everything's happening all over again. Michael, can you give me half of the cake? The cake? Tara! Not this time. Michael, will you take this inside? I'll go get the candles, and then you can make a wish. to me. Maybe I'm losing my mind. Whoa! Oh! 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 It doesn't feel warm. I'm not sick. I'm sorry you didn't like your birthday. I didn't like it twice. Look, you guys gotta believe me. I woke up and it was three days ago. Michael, try to get some sleep, okay? You're gonna feel a lot better in the morning. Like I always say, tomorrow's another day. You better be.
dreams? Oh, I know what it is. You're just excited because it's your birthday tomorrow. Oh, actually, it is tomorrow already. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mikey. My big boy is six years old. Six? Ah! What's wrong, little buddy? Hair! I can't be six. I'm 12. <laughs> of course, you're six. No, I'm 12. Honey, it's his birthday. Let him be 12 if he wants. Wait a minute. If I'm six, where's Tara? Tara? Who's Tara? Oh, Tara. He has an invisible friend. Tell me, Mikey, what does Tara look like? Tara's gone. Disappeared. That means I'm next. Michael, close my office door and get back into bed. Time's going backwards. Imagination. I think we got a writer on our hands. That'd make a great science fiction story, son. Time going backwards. Backwards. The cuckoo said. That must be it. I gotta uh, turn it back uh, around. Michael? Michael? It's gone. The cuckoo clock is gone. The cuckoo clock is gone. Cuckoo clock. We don't have a cuckoo clock. Ah, oh, stupid. Don't call your father stupid. Not him, me. Dad's not gonna buy the clock for another six years. He's delirious. The antique store. That's where it is. Uh, I gotta get there. The only place you have to go is to bed, young man. Uh, uh, it's late. And the last thing we no. need is a grumpy birthday boy. Hey! Birthday boy! How about a giraffe? I'm a 12 year old mind trapped in a six year old body. How about an octopus? Well, my time's up. What's wrong, Michael? I gotta get out of here. I gotta get downtown to the antique store. What's an antique? I'm getting younger by the day. But it's your birthday, you're getting older. You don't understand. Today I'm six. Tomorrow. I may be nothing. When you're nothing, can I have your presents? You can have them all right now. Just don't tell my mom where I'm going. I'm busting out of Michael, here. Michael, where are you going? going? Never mind. Presents! presents. <laughs> hey, kid. You got the time? said you'd be here. What's the matter with you, Michael, running away from your party like that? Dad! You know you're not allowed down here by yourself. I'm very angry with you. I gotta get to the clock. It's very, very important. I don't even want to discuss it. I'm very disappointed in you. Come on. We're going home before your mother worries us off to death. I don't care. You can keep all your small dogs. You keep all your black, white, brown, and spotted dogs. I'll keep Clifford. Wouldn't you? The end. Read me another, Dad. Please, Dad. Just one more. Come on, please. It's time for lights out. Oh, is he still awake? He's afraid to go to sleep. Michael, I want you to stop it with this time travel business. You're not going to disappear. Tara did. Stop with this Tara. Who's Tara? Honey, maybe if you just read him one more story, it'll calm him down. I've been reading for two solid hours. Mom, Dad, don't argue over me. It's not worth it. I'm not going to be here much longer anyhow. Oh, he doesn't seem to be warm. Listen, buddy, I'll leave your nightlight on. Try, please, to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. 
Everything's gonna be just fine. Good night, son. Not good night, goodbye. Dinosaurs? What's that smell? Oh no! Uh oh! Does Mikey need his diaper changed? I'll just explain to her. I have to get to the antique store. Oh great! I hope you're not running a fever. Hmm. Where's she going? Maybe I should check your temperature. Oh, no. Here we go. Anything but that. Hey, what's with my little man? <laughs> His temperature's normal. How would my little buddy like to go for a nice walk downtown? Wait a minute. We could be on something. Yeah. Well, maybe do some window shopping. Getting warmer. Take a look in that antique store. Bingo! What do you think, hon? Well, let's not go to Anthony's. What? Well, I like Anthony's. What's wrong with Anthony's? Yeah, what's wrong with Anthony's? Anthony charges an arm and a leg. So give him an arm and a leg. Hmm. Maybe we shouldn't go anywhere. He's getting fussy. How's this? <laughs> oh, he's fine. Hurry up. Time's running out. Let's go to Anthony's. We're just going to walk. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, you know, Mom. <laughs> oh, look at all this stuff, Mike. Yeah. Oh, hi, Anthony. Where's Hello, the clock? Webster. I gotta find that clock. Webster. Hi, uh, Anthony. Cuckoo. Like get some tables. They're right up here. Great. How much are they, Anthony? I'm a little One minute left. Here we go. How many times have I told you to stay away from this clock? You're 12 years old, act like it. I am, I am 12. I'm 12, Dad! I love you! Well, I, I love you too, but keep your hands off my cuckoo. Okay, guys, lunch is ready. Mom. Mom, I love you. Oh, my. <laughs> I'll get Tara. Who's Tara? I think I found the flaw. Look, the year 1988 is missing. That, that's the year Tara would have been born. Who's Tara? Uh, nobody, Dad. Nobody. <laughs> Come and eat, you nut. Yeah, I'll be there in a second. So Tara has never been born. I suppose there's some way to go back in time and get her, right? I guess I probably ought to do that, and I will. One of these days.